I would like to uh, ask uh, to Professor Spratt and uh, Dr. Jonathan Hill uh, uh, one question. How important is the use, your opinion, of imaging uh, for the strategy in the choice uh, between uh, IVL uh, or atherectomy, orbital or rotational? And second question is, uh, what kind of imaging for you? IVUS or OCT in long, severe coronary calcified lesions? Thank you, Fabrizio. That's a great question and really is something that's very close to my heart. And we've, we've gone into this in really quite extensive detail in, in class three. The short answer to your first question about imaging is I think it is of absolute fundamental importance and I think it is central to everything we're doing with the management of these complex patients. So I'm an advocate for near universal intravascular imaging where that's possible. So if it's possible, it should be done. And it should form the starting point of every algorithm that we use to decide on the optimal mode of calcium modification. Now, the algorithms, uh, are, there are multiple algorithms now appearing uh, around the world and certainly IVL has ignited this, this sort of collective thinking amongst interventional cardiologists. But the essential measurements that you're making with intravascular imaging are related to the three aspects of calcium distribution. The concentricity and the distribution of calcium around the vessel and the thickness of that calcium and then the, uh, the extent of the calcification along the length of the vessel. Now of primary importance to me is the degree of concentricity, deciding on whether it is concentric or eccentric. But the third most important aspect of, of calcium uh, distribution is also being able to detect nodularity and that nodularity is actually an indication for an atherectomy device. So your question about IVUS or OCT, um, I, I'm clearly an, a, a strong advocate of OCT and the reason for that is because of the spatial resolution and in particular the additional information that OCT gives you over and above intravascular ultrasound. And in particular, when we're looking at um, the depth of calcium. And really, if you can understand the concentricity or eccentricity and the depth of calcium, that is the essential information that you need to make a decision. So. Short answer for the first question, fundamental importance, and secondly, OCT is my modality of choice. In fact, Jonathan, the short answer was yes and OCT, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fabrizio, what's your perspective on it? Do you think imaging is, is important? And if so, which type? Uh, for me, in the setting, the uh, images uh, view is fundamental, is mandatory. Uh, I use generally uh, in the complex PCI set in the eye, it's very immediately and we are an easy view it's, uh, in, in general. But uh, however, when uh, we are in the context of long and classified angiographic lesions, I prefer to use the OCT as the IVUS view is uh, endured by the presence of the shadow in the case of eye uh, classific uh, burden. Uh, while OCT allow me to better see both superficial uh, and uh, intramural calcium of the wall and also uh, allow me to evaluate a correct size of the total vessel in this concept. So I'm very completely agree with you. That's a great answer, Fabrizio. Listen, thank you so much for bringing this question and your expertise and your support for the class and we're very grateful for your time as well. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see you soon, Fabrizio. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks, Fabrizio.